Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So we have a new Ultimate Batman bundle that's been added to the marketplace. Let's take a look. So if we take a quick look at the preview, uh, the pack contains the Beyond Enhanced style suit, the modified Beyond Enhanced uh, jacket style, the Bat Cowl style, the Swarming Bat Aura, the Bat Drone Tier 1, the Bat Uplink device, and the Manor Lair. I'm sure you've already noticed that I already have the Manor Lair. And you can also see that I already have the Swarming Bat Aura. And I even have the Bat Signal Uplink device. And sadly, I already have the NS version of the Batman Beyond style. So why oh why would I purchase the Ultimate Batman Bundle? And we should be able to get the Bat Drone in the game, I'll show it to you in just a minute. So there's two things really that I need from that bundle. There's the Bat Call style. And there's the modified Beyond Enhanced uh, Jacket style. Uh, for the Bat Call style, if I want to be able to show it to you, I have no choice. I have to purchase the bundle. Uh, but also, on the forums, I was one of the people. I may have been the first one, but uh, I'm pretty sure uh, someone else did ask before me. But uh, on the forums, I was asking and asking and asking for a Batman call with longer ears. And the new Bat Call style seems to be what we were asking for. So enough stalling. Let us buy the bundle. So if we look at the Ultimate Batman Bundle, you can see it is account bound. So if for some reason you buy it on the wrong character, you could still trade it to another one of your character. But we're not going to do that, so let's open the box right now. So you can see the Beyond NN's the high tech style, sadly I already have it. Uh, the Bat Call style, not collected. The Swarming Bat Aura, uh, you can see it is account bound, so I will be able to give it to one of my other characters. Uh, the bad drone, uh, I'm going to use it with this character. I don't want to have it with this character. Uh, again, the bad signal uplink device, I will give that to another one of my character. For the manual air, I already purchased it from the marketplace, so I already have it on all of my characters. So you can see the Batman Beyond style. Uh, let's open the box. So you can see here we have the Beyond NN style, and here we can see the modified Beyond NN's jacket. So let's consume it. And let us also consume the bat call style. And I was using the nightmare bat, but let's replace it with the bat draw. So it is a countdown until you actually equip it. So once you equip it, sadly you're not going to be able to trade it afterwards. That uh, doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, you can see also the battle plane device that is also a countdown. So I'll be able to give it to another one of my characters. So here we are going to be able to compare the Dark Knight Call with the new uh, Bat Call. So this is the Dark Knight Call with the short ears. And here we have the Bat Call. So you can see the ears are uh, substantially longer. Ah, uh, I like it a lot. So it is something we were asking and asking for quite some time. And now, here we are. And seeing how I've been asking and asking for this call for quite some time, I pretty much had to put my money where my mouth is and I had to purchase it to let them know that this is what we were talking about. So I've been asking and asking uh, for a longer eared Batman call and now that they finally given us uh, what we were asking for, I pretty much had to buy it. If we ask for something and then don't buy it when they give it to us, uh, it's going to be hard to ask for something else uh, next time. And also, it allows me to be able to show you how awesome this call looks. And for the Beyond I take suit, I have to admit, I kind of prefer the regular version. But what we do have in the bundle is the enhanced version of the Beyond style. So you can see there's some sort of a weird texture built into the style. So I kind of prefer the texture of the regular version, but ah well, what can you do? So here we have the modified version of the enhanced Batman Beyond style. Now let's put it in emblem. So if you're lucky enough to have the uh, BVS emblem, uh, you can decide to use that instead of the Batman Beyond emblem. Although as with most emblem, you can see that the emblem is uh, fairly small on the chest piece. But it does give you the freedom to use any other emblem if you want to, or any other Batman emblem. Here we have the 80th anniversary emblem. So it gives you one more step to sort of customize your Batman Beyond character if you want to. And of course, it gives you the freedom to use any other emblem, like uh, the Legion of Superhero emblem, or the Evil Enhanced Owlman emblem. 
Oh yeah, I can already see a lot of uh, evil Altman characters using this chess piece. I know it may seem a bit silly, but the classic Batman had some longer bat ears. But for quite some time, we were stuck with the short ears from the Batman either from uh, Dark Knight Returns or uh, the way Jim Lee did uh, draw the Batman in the comics. And uh, Jim Lee took a lot of inspiration from Dark Knight Returns in the way he was interpreting the Batman in the comics. But now we have uh, pretty much something we've been asking and asking for for quite some time. We have a long-eared Batman call. And let's summon a bat drone just to be able to show it to you guys. It is similar to the bat drone we used to get from the Collector's Edition. Uh, sadly, at this point in time, uh, the Collector's Edition is pretty much impossible to get. Last I saw it, it was uh, months and months and months ago. It was like uh, 350 bucks on uh, either Amazon or eBay. And uh, last I checked, you can't even find it anymore. But the drone from the Collector's Edition, you would summon it and then it would remain, it would remain with you forever. And uh, this drone acts like pretty much all the other pets. You summon it, it stays with you for a bit, and then it disappears. Although you don't need uh, the bundle to be able to get the drone, there are alternatives. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But as you can see, the drone uh, does stick around with you at least for a bit. And it is gone. I would bet a Buffalo Nickel that you can already find it on the broker. Let's take a look. So you can see the bad drone tier 2 for almost a billion. Obviously, people are crazy for to ask for that price, and the price should go down uh, in a bit. From what I understand, the drone will be a random drop from the Rise of the Bat mission. So if you ever needed to play this mission, the time is now because people are going to farm and farm and farm that mission in order to be able to get the bad drone. Another place to be able to get the drone if, is from your friend uh, Changzu from the House of Legends. Guaranteed friends for what you have none. So you can see the bad drone tier 1 has been added to Changzu and you can get it for 100 source marks. Uh, for the tier 2 drone, you have to obtain all the normal mode headlines from the Riddle of Crime episode and also it will cost 400 source marks. For the tier 3 drone, you will need the normal and elite headlines from the Riddle of Crime episode and it will cost you also 700 source marks and sadly i already had the uh, the manor layer so it didn't really matter if it is included in the bundle or not but obviously if you do not have the manor layer and if you if you want to have the layer for your batman character this is an option although i have a lot of characters so it wasn't very difficult to find one of my characters that needed either the aura or the orbital strike So let's consume the aura. And now we have a swarming bat aura for a red hood character. And it would seem that once we get the headpiece, we can then purchase it for our other characters using 50 replay badges. And the same for the modified Beyond Anans style. So technically you can purchase the bundle for one of your character and then use replay badges to unlock some of the other styles for your other characters. Oh, it would seem that we can actually unlock the Swarm Bat Aura using Ripley Badges. So it will cost us 100 Ripley Badges to unlock the Swarm Bat Aura for our alternate characters. Normally you can purchase the Swarm Bat Aura from the Halloween vendors during the Halloween Seasonal. Uh, sadly, the next Halloween Seasonal is pretty far away. So if you don't want to wait that long to be able to get the Aura on multiple characters, it will cost you 100 Ripley Badges. So there you go guys, so if you were wondering what's, what was included in the ultimate Batman bundle, now you know. And if you're like me and you were asking and asking for a long-eared Batman call, now we finally have what we were asking for. I know that some people will find it expensive, uh, basically it's 25 bucks for the pack, 2250 if you are subscribers because you, because you get 10% off as a subscriber. I know that some people will say it's silly to spend 20 bucks for a Batman call. But uh, that is what I paid way back when. When we got the Dark Knight call, it was 20 bucks on the marketplace, and I bought it as soon as it was on the marketplace. It was something that was highly requested at the time, so as soon as they added it to the marketplace, you can be sure I was there to buy it. 
So if you were wondering what's included in the Ultimate Batman Bundle, now you know. Now if you want to see more videos, click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now.